Hello, my name is Jillian McMichael and I'm in your intro to the art cinema class and I'm a freshman and today I'll be talking about The Little Mermaid and I chose to talk about The Little Mermaid today because The Little Mermaid growing up was one of my favorite movies and watching it in this class and listening to the John and Craig's podcast has really opened my, eye, opened my eyes to a new side of The Little Mermaid that I had no idea existed. Well, today I'm going to be focusing on lighting in The Little Mermaid because I thought this would be an interesting topic to tackle because I feel like in animation a lot of times lighting is underappreciated because it's not like they have someone actually holding up a key light or actual lighting people on set doing things but there are lighting designers for animation and it's extremely needed because to make an animation come to life and look real, light is very important, just like how it is in normal movies. And so I'm going to start with a couple examples and I think my favorite example is the part of your world um, iconic moment when Ariel's swimming up towards the light and she's in there, her cave, her dark cave, and there's the nice huge sunlight whoosh, coming down into the cave and there's these beautiful sun glares on the bottom which I thought was such a great representation because inside her cave is full of all these knickknacks of the outside world and the world up above and the sunlight which I would say is the world what she wants to go and reach is it's all touching it just barely and the whole time that she's singing part of your world the shadows are casting differently on her and all the lighting in this scene is extremely cool toned and it's very very low-key lighting in this because you when she's here it's so dark with her when she's swimming up just lit up by the light and I just thought this was a great use of lighting to represent her. It says in the book that low-key lighting can often represent ethical judgments. And I feel like this, because she's going through the biggest debate ever. Like, I want to be part of this world up above, but I'm stuck in the ocean. And I loved how they used the whole time really in the ocean mostly cool colors because the ocean is cool toned. And my other example that I love from this movie is Ariel with her feet. And I love this because of the stark contrast from her in Ursula's cave right here and how dark and cool toned it was and extreme um, low key lighting with that because of the one light in the middle and the contrast on their face. It just felt so dark and then suddenly she's brought up to the world and it's just extreme high key lighting with warm tones. And for the first time, you feel, you're feel you feeling what Ariel's feeling, like the shock, the sudden impact, and it's and the lighting made this scene more powerful. Because if she was sitting here up on shore in darkness, like at night, this scene wouldn't have been as powerful. And that's what I think is beautiful of it. And, the, and yeah, they just did this amazing job. And so my last example, I would say, would be ding, 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 Ursula in this scene. This scene, again, the low-key lighting. But my favorite part of this scene, I would say, is I love the mixture of the cool and warm tones because the whole scene is mostly cool tones with the purples and Ursula, but then you get the big, warm, golden trident, and it's shining down on Ariel and Eric. And I thought that was a really interesting contrast to mix the cool and warm tones. And... Lastly, I use the I use this Calvin scale here, which is the Calvin scale scale is what I was talking about the warm and cool tones. It's definitely helpful with analyzing things. And I guess the last thing I want to say is I loved how with Ursula they used these kind of evil, intense colors like purples and that like neon green. But with Ariel in the ocean, they used those those nice natural greens and blues. Thank you for watching, and hope you have a wonderful day.